what's happening everybody amp capo here black adonis games we are inside lyra starter game for unreal engine 5 we are back guys i had a little bit of a crash and i apologize but we're back now um i'm back on track um hopefully getting a new monitor here pretty soon um anyway today's video is going to be about rebranding um, you can see i've started rebranding here I'm going to just show you guys a little bit of this right quick because I had some people ask about it. Um, so let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and go inside and I'll, I'll show you guys how to get around in Lyra and take care of uh, the rebranding thing. All right. All right. So what you want to do is once you're inside your project is go to your content folder in the content drawer and you want to go all the way down to UI. Then you want to click on menu and then you're going to have two major uh, pieces to open here. Um, first, I'm going to open is the main menu that you see up front. And you can see this one slid over because I'm messing around with the menu here and just seeing what I can do. Uh, doing some prototyping so that I can change my menu up in the project. But anyway, this is what you got to do, guys. Your logo would be here. Um, and what you want to do is just go down here to the drop down and you can see the logo. This is going to be the entire uh, uh, box for the logo. And then these are going to be the different parts of the logo, the layers. So you have uh, the shadow here. Um, and what you want to do is you just want to highlight what you want to change. And then you double click on the image and just go to wherever the masking is. Like if I were to go hit this. You're going to see that that color pops back up for the glow. All right. So you just want to turn all the masking off. OK. And you want to do this for any of the items that you want to change, like the actual name here. This is the actual logo. And you'll see here, I'm going to actually split this up right quick. Hopefully the screen will help me uh, to not have to be so squeezed with space here. Um, but that should be coming soon. All right, guys. So then once you're in here and you click on this, you're going to see that if I highlight these things, you'll see that the logo pops back up. All right. So you just want to turn all the alphas off. I just turn everything off. Makes it a lot easier. And you do this for anything that you want to change. All right. And what will end up happening is once you go through all of these and you do the same thing, turn them all off, all underneath mask, turn off all the masking. All right. And I'll leave you with a clean slate background that you can put your own text. I just put this little tiny text there as an example, but you could put your own text name right there. And then for the buttons, just as easy. Um, you literally go down to the button. Here you can see this is where I put the tint. So this is for the uh, border brush. So that's going to change the color of the uh, button itself. And then you're still going to have your pressed and all those settings for the button as well. All right. And then the font material, which is here, I changed. I, you could change the font here. And then uh, you're going to have the text, which I put play my game, will be down here. You just type whatever you want that button to say in that slot. Okay. And then for the logo, I just copied the UE5 logo and I made another copy of it here so that I could put my own personal logo as you've seen on my screen. All right. So all the functions of the buttons, all that stuff, nothing's going to change. Um, all this will still do what it's supposed to do. All you're going to basically be doing is changing some cosmetics. All right. And you're going to want to do that for your loading screen as well. So if we go in, this is going to be the other one, the startup widget and I just did the same thing guys I just went in uh, go to all of these click on the images and turn off the back masking all right that'll leave you with some clean slates to start with and you can put your own info or you could just delete all of this uh, and keep the buttons and delete everything in the backgrounds and put your own background your own everything all right so there it is guys easy uh, uh, quick way to uh, reface and uh, rebrand the project to your own liking so that you can build on it all right 
Anyway, let everybody know we're back, man. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games. I want to thank everyone who has been sticking around through my crash and all that. And thank all of the new subscribers that have subscribed since the last video. I appreciate y'all, man. Um, more is going to be coming. I got to re-record a lot of videos that I lost. So all that will be coming, guys. It's just going to be a lot of work now to backtrack and re-record like over 20, 30 videos that I had stock stacked up uh, to release. So anyway, we're back. Full steam ahead, man. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games. Like, subscribe. Tell a friend.